What's up, y'all? Hey, guys. We're Embrace the Suck 21. Yes, we are. I'm Spencer. And I'm Daniel. And we're back with some Would I Lie to You. Yes, yes. this time our favorite parking <laughs> meter maid. Yes, Rob Brighton. Yes. Yep. I remember that one. I remember <laughs> yeah. that one. Yep. If you're in our movie club, you know. Anyway, we're checking out Rob Brighton's impressions in... We've seen a couple of them, especially of David Mitchell, and yeah. he, he roasts him. Yes. Which is awesome. But, hey, we've, it's been a while since we had one I lie to you, and we miss it. So let's... Yeah, we do it. I, I, I'm, I'm ready. Yeah, let's go. Let's three, do it. Three, two, one. Marty, we got to get to the DeLorean! <laughs> <laughs> ding a -ling. Uh, could I have a posher upbringing, please? <laughs> <laughs> right out the gate. Yep. With right David Mitchell it. and, oh, what was it, um, Doc from, Doc. uh, uh, the Back to the Future. <laughs> yeah. See, I have seen that one. Yes. What? <laughs> I have, and I'm kidding. Yes, you oh asshole. Oh, my God. <laughs> Love that. <sighs> That's a remarkable impression, because it has the advantage of also sounding quite a lot like Ken Livingston. I thought that was a good one. You're absolutely right. As yeah. I did it, I thought, this isn't the best David Mitchell I've ever done. Right. <laughs> if it was going to be one of the good David Mitchells, it would be a bit more like this. I don't know why anybody would think I would do that. Why would they think that? <laughs> and I'll yes. tell you another thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! When I was a DJ, I used to... I was, I was younger, so I had kind of a higher voice, and I used to kind of talk a little bit like that and say, thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> The newsreader, I would talk a bit more like that. So that's um, not the accent, that's, no, that's just that's the, the tone. That's the tone, yeah, the picture. Well, if, if you'd let me finish. <laughs> I had a slightly Welsh tone to the, to the newsreader, because I am Welsh, and I would sort of give it more of a sort of Anthony Hopkins, sort of, uh, in other news coming in at the moment, there's been a horrific pile-up on the M4 motorway. Ambulances are on their way there right now. I'm getting nothing from this fellow who's sitting here reading my thoughts, going, I wonder what he's thinking right now. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, big fella? Yeah, you're right about this guy. He does like he does really good impressions. He it, that was pretty good, Anthony Hopkins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. I think so. Hell yeah. Yeah, I, I hope I hope there's some American um, impression that I, he does ooh, in this one. I I would love that. I yeah, would love that. That would be sick. Yep. <laughs> Because frankly, David, now would be a good time to join in. <laughs> can you do David Beckham? Can you do his voice? I can do that sort of thing, yeah, like that. <laughs> can you do it then? Can you do it now? Can you do I'm doing it live. <laughs> uh, for Nelson Mandela's 90th birthday in 2008, David Beckham sent this message. Mr. Mandela, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do it nicely. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it to Sean Connery. Um, <laughs> do it to Ronnie Corbett or Terry Wogan. Yeah. <laughs> Do Frank Spencer. <laughs> the message went like this. <laughs> Rob, I think you probably safest tell us first who it is, you know, and then we'll know. <laughs> I'm not going to say who it is. Yeah. Okay. I'll just say he's a bit of a tit, OK? And then you go there. Oh. <laughs> Mr Mandela, happy 90th birthday. <laughs> Sorry I can't be with you, but um, I'm sure you'll have an amazing day. <laughs> I wonder who that is. Oh, God. Let's take a wild guess. <laughs> See who that is. He just loves picking on a man. Mm, I love that, dude. It's just part of the show. It's just part of it. <laughs> Was it an Italian traffic warden who watched what you were doing when... You are fast, you're furious, you're back, you're four, you're up, you're... <laughs> I'm doing Bruno Tognoli. <laughs> Mick Jagger has been asked by a company if they can sell his ashes in collectible egg timers when he dies. <laughs> they offered Mick Jagger, and it seems too good an opportunity to waste, Mick Jagger, they offered... Uh... Good. That's pretty good. Uh, it's not up there with Ronnie Corbett. I'm not going to say for a second that it is, but it was worth an airing. But what would Ronnie Corbett sound like if he was singing a Mick Jagger song? Yeah. <laughs> good on <laughs> Good on <laughs> I can't get no satisfaction. <laughs> it was an Australian... Don't try and look like you weren't pleased to be asked. <laughs> It'll just cover it up. shows that 51% of Scottish women lie to get out of lovemaking. Oh, I'm allergic to bins. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
He invited several journalists up to his hotel suite where the eight pigeons were perched on the wardrobe in the bedroom. And he said to one of the journalists, be careful where you fit. I've, well, that's... that's, <laughs> that's, 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 that, that's that British one. That's um, Chris Eubank. Chris Eubank, yes. It's a shame if you think about Chris, because I can do a very good Chris. Oh, um, that's very really careful. good. I know, it's such a shame. It's about bloody Tyson, isn't it? Do the same, do the same do thing Teddy with Wogan. Do Teddy Wogan. Oh, be careful where you sit. Uh, <laughs> Hans Ferdinand. Um, <laughs> Has anyone met Gary Barlow? I have. What I did have. he say? Met him when I did Top of the Pops. Oh. <laughs> uh, he was very, very calm. He talks like Ringo Starr now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Gary Barlow. <laughs> and David At first, I... I thought, he, I thought he said Gary Glitter. I was like, oh, oh. God. No, 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 Lots of no's. Yes. All the no's. All the no's. David Mitchell's team tonight, a legendary comedian who manages to be one of the biggest stars in showbiz and one of the smallest. It's Ronnie Corbett. Hey! Two Ronnies. One of the Ronnies. Did one of your researchers not got an update on Brandy to see how he is now. Well, it was 15 years ago, I think we know. <laughs> we can live 25 years, Cats. You haven't seen him for 15 years, Julian, <laughs> but he's here tonight. <laughs> I actually like Cats, Oh, That's... yes, you like Cats, but you're mind-smashing them. <laughs> Smashing a dangerous cat that posed a threat to our lovely audience. Oh. And one of Britain's you most beloved start. comedians. Oh, <laughs> Stamper it again. Did they say a pet chef? Is that, that's presumably a... A chef for pets. A chef for pets. Not, Not a, like... a Jack Russell or a working <laughs> copper spaniel <laughs> in a hat. The cat is called Marmalade and is three years old. Marmalade's favourite meal is smoked salmon roll-ups, followed by... What do you mean, roll-ups? <laughs> so these oh, are roll-ups. I'll tell you what, I was tripping off my face the other night, I'll tell you. At one point, I thought I was living with Noel Edmonds, honestly. I was off my tits. I was off my tits. Smoked salmon, followed by carpaccio of tuna with salted butter ice cream. For afters. <laughs> Sounds better in your vibe. Do it, Ronnie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I thought you were. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ronnie does love. <laughs> that is the question. <laughs> God Almighty. What? Oh, man. Uh, uh, you know. Through all the Would I Lie to You stuff we've done, I always had the impression that Rob Brydon was the straight-laced one, just in the middle, yep. keeping the whole thing together. But he's just as wild as the, everyone else. Everyone else. So, like, it, it really is those three's show. Yeah, Rob Brydon, Lee Mack, David Mitchell. Yeah, like, that's, that's their show. Like, yeah. I would yeah. be upset to try to watch it without them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there was one where Greg Davies took over one of the two's uh, role, but um, other than that, it's been the three of them. And, uh, man, uh, I think in an earlier one we said we'd love to go drinking with the both just Lee Mack and David oh, Mitchell. Yeah. Throw Rob Bright in, in oh, there. Oh, yeah. Come yeah. on. Oh, we got for you. sure. For sure. Yeah. Love shopping. As if he's good, he gets to ride in the trolley. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to believe it. <laughs> I can't do the voice. All right, I can't oh. do the voice. And if I could, I wouldn't keep doing it. <laughs> Ronnie, can you do an impression of Rob? Uh, no. no. I've, I've, never, <laughs> I've never felt the need to do an impression of Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want the glasses? I'd love the glasses, yes. <laughs> there, we are. there we are. Oh, my word. Goodness me. <laughs> and in a packed programme tonight. <laughs> Good Lord, you get vertigo in those. Oh, God. <laughs> Nobody without these. You know? I like those adverts for Sainsbury's. There's that guy with a really great voice who says, Sainsbury's, try something new today. <laughs> Now, no, Rob, what? you know I don't do a Terry Walker. <laughs> come, come now, sir. 
Well, if, I, if I'm going to do my Terry Wogan, surely you could do your Ken Bruce. We've never, we've never done this before, have we? Well, <coughs> thanks, Terry. And it's me, Ken Bruce, now in the morning. And it's you about her. Playing Beverly Craven and Woman to Woman. Oh, Ken, nobody cares. <laughs> Might be interested to know that later on this month, Terry and I will be at the Armdale Centre in Manchester for children in need, and you can uh, strap on a black rhino annihilator dildo and make my eyes water for charity. I once had to ask Michael Winner to calm down after I crashed into his car. I'm surprised he didn't have a passenger with him because he's very friendly with Michael Caine. <laughs> <laughs> I was driving down the road when. <laughs> We felt a prang in the arse. <laughs> I looked around. Who do you bloody think it was? <laughs> Only Sanjeev Bhaskar, free decoration. <laughs> My wife has a, has a bike with a high basket at the front. Sometimes I'll pop up, you know. All right, <laughs> <laughs> pop up. <laughs> what? Because he's really short. He's like five six or something. <sighs> Uh, yeah, y'all Brits, y'all y'all pick the weirdest people <laughs> to be y'all celebrities. I love it. I love it, dude. What? Into the basket, you know. <laughs> Doing Ronnie Corbett. I pop up and admire the view. <laughs> As you were. <laughs> So you lasted a week. You lasted. Don't encourage him. <laughs> I'm just glad that basket wasn't big enough to fit Terry Wogan in. Don't. <laughs> so, how long? You're a week. Just one week. No. <laughs> oh, I feel it's coming on. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you? Okay. Before we do this, I'm thinking Terry Wogan was the Eurovision presenter, yes. which is now Graham Norton. Yes, that's what people were saying. I, th I, I think, I think if I remember correctly. Yeah. British Irish radio broadcaster, um, broadcaster who worked for the BBC, uh, Wake Up With Wogan. Was he, was he the Eurovision guy? Wake Up With Wogan. Oh, man. Uh, Yes, Eurovision Song yes. Contest, 71, 73 to 78, <clears throat> 1980 to 2008. Now it's Graham Norton. Okay, there you go. okay, so. <laughs> is, that, is that him? No, I don't think no, so. No, it's not him. It's not him. No, no, yeah, no. I think he's been on the Would I Lie to You before. Has he? Uh, wow. I, I, I think I saw him one time. I just. Oh, man. It's been a lot. We, we've gone through a lot of clips. Yes, we have. So, yeah. <laughs> so let us know. Yes. Are you edging anywhere closer to... to Suicide, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I liked you in Inspector Morse. Do you remember when you're, you're a damn fool, Morse? Do you remember that? Yeah, I think yeah. the Rocky Balboa, yeah. I think. Right? <laughs> you fired. Yeah. Are you fired? Are you fired, you, are you, you fired Edwin? <laughs> are you fired? Please, that's a very good Rocky Balboa, but doesn't he really sound a bit more like this? <laughs> I love you, but I love He is telling the truth. But he is a brilliant actor. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Well, he's you an are. actor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with the greatest respect, we're not talking about Robert De Niro, are we? It's Martin Clunes. I mean, <laughs> is he going to do Robert De Niro now? I can't do him. Oh, oh. <laughs> never stab. Have I got Pacino for you? No, I said no, Robert, we De said Robert De Niro. Come on, cocky. <laughs> That's all I can do. That was a monkey. <laughs> Robert De Niro has a monkey. <laughs> He's very versatile. He could do a yeah. monkey that well. What's that? Al Pacino? Okay. <laughs> Tom Jones. Robert De Niro, that's it, with longer arms. <laughs> no, Al, Al Pacino. Al Pacino is... <laughs> okay, Pacino, okay? What do you got? <laughs> that's Columbo. <laughs> It is a very good Ronnie Corbett. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so who's, who's guessing who's... who's if, if that ends up in the show, I'm gone. Um, who's this?
this coming through? It's a young engine. Get out of my way, David. I've got important letters to deliver. Yeah. The engine's very angry, said David Mitchell. Ah. <laughs> Keely, speaking as the only woman, uh, in your single days before you settled oh, down, God. and yes. you would you'd have been you'd met as David, and you'd be getting on like a wildfire, and he said, "Well, why don't you come back to my?" I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! It's either this or Ronnie Corbett. Right. Um, why don't Why don't you come back to my uh, apartment, and uh, we could settle down and have a game of boggle? So, <laughs> so you, you go there. You go there. And, and he said, well, why don't we go upstairs? And you go upstairs and you get to the door and there's no handle or knob. Would that put you off? This actually happened to me once. David! <laughs> David! You're a dark horse. I don't remember. <laughs> She'll keep till I get back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my oh God. God. That... <laughs> It couldn't have been timed better. <laughs> oh, uh, God. Show never disappoints, mm -mm. I tell you what. A uh, bloody Hugh uh, Edwards. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He'd have been like a shot, wouldn't he? <laughs> Terrible news, Kate yeah, sprained her ankle. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, an impression with the right accent for you. <laughs> <laughs> Finally! <laughs> well, I do not well. During Wimbledon, it gets really crazy. My hand cramps up and my mind gets hazy. I sign and sign, but the line doesn't end. Wake me up tomorrow, let's do it again. Autograph. <laughs> what? When I says and left it where I knew they would see it, yes. And then At the time, uh, they were watching Wogan, so they were distracted. Oh, all right. <laughs> ah, I think it was Wogan. Young Mark Watson there. He's <laughs> about, about to take his own life, don't you know? <laughs> First, Chris Rea, the road to hell. How's <laughs> <laughs> <As> you work? <laughs> Uncanny. <laughs> you might have dyscalculus, like me, so you're not fit. Have what? Dyscalculus, same as dyslexia, so that's what I've got. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> that is I've probably, got shorterless. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Don't you come round here giving any of that, sweetheart. You'll be barred from this bloody pub, all right? <laughs> I used to put on a different voice on the telephone and pretend to be my own agent. Oh, let's have it then. The voice? Yeah. Imagine I've just yeah. rung up. Hello. Hello. I'm the uh, people that want to put Rob Brydon. Yes. <laughs> how, how much would he cost? Uh, his name, I used to call him Richard Knight. And Richard used to talk like this. And uh, he'd say, listen, uh, love to help you out. But at that price, we're really not going to make much movement. Um, <laughs> and I, I once did a charity gig. And uh, it's got... a lie. He's never done charity gigs. <laughs> I got money for it because Richard said, listen, Rob's an angel and if he knew I was doing this, he'd never forgive me, but I've got to get a bit of money, otherwise I wouldn't be doing my job. <laughs> did you have a real agent at the time? No. <laughs> so, how many phone numbers? Did you have a separate phone number for your fake agent? No, or was it just your normal I worked, phone? I used to work at the BBC in Cardiff. I was on the radio, I used to be a DJ, and if they got through to the office, I would then phone back under the guise. When it came right. to important meetings, did you have to, like, take a disguise and um, sit there and go, well, oh, Rob's in the toilet at the moment, but when he gets back, <laughs> I'll go and get him now. Uh, oh, I believe my agent said I could do it. <laughs> you've got an agent now so why did you decide to well um, I didn't have one. Yeah, I have one now but I, I didn't have one then what, made, what convinced you you needed one because, it, it working? because it's very difficult to do your own negotiations and not come across as an horrible person when you're asking for money but if it was Richard Knight saying listen I'm just doing this Rob doesn't want money but I gotta get money for the guy but they didn't know it was you that's my whole point you I know. idiot that's I what I'm saying <laughs> did you have anybody else on your books <laughs> What's the sort of work that... Uh... Hosting things. This was back in about the late 80s when I was a local radio disc jockey. So Did the agent hope... take a cut? <laughs> <laughs> Did the agent phone you to let you know they got the job? No, I was the agent! <laughs> <laughs> the job was 
you ever fall out with your agent? <laughs> no, it was me. When you decided that this this charade had to finish, did you take yourself out to dinner and tell yourself you wouldn't? <laughs> <laughs> did you sign a contract? <laughs> you still in touch? <laughs> Right, it's time to guess. Uh, first of all, Lee and those bastards. Uh, what, what, what are you going to go for? I would say true. Uh, you think it's true? You yeah. saying it's true? Yes, in the true. words of Rob Brydon, I think that's true. Right, <laughs> saying it's true. Um, David and these asses. Uh, what, do you, what do you say? That is so I true. Think I think it's true. Yeah, yeah it's, I think it's true. Do you think it's true? true? David, May yeah. well. I... Let me buck the trend by telling you. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Superman was actually. I love that he can play the game too. Yeah, yeah. I, that's I the first time we've seen that. Yeah, yeah, where he's, you know, telling a story and the, the other teams are trying to see if it's true or not. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. I, wow, okay. And All right. Know, yeah. <laughs> but, and that's a. That's a genius move right there to disguise your voice or like get a different <laughs> phone number and act as your own agent. Yes. I never thought about that. I'm, Genius. I'm, Fake I'm, it till you make it. I'm going to, when, when, when I'm, ah, oh man, but people don't usually take phone calls anymore for no, booking. It's just, no. it's email or DM yeah. on Instagram. You just, you just have to change your Instagrams and yeah. and your, and your emails. Right. Cause info at Spencer Joyce music. Yeah. That's yeah, a good one. Exactly. And then <laughs> I, I, I would like impersonate you, but oh, yeah. I, I don't think I could do uh, that. No, no. just stutter a lot, and J then you'll be good. Just, 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 uh, just stutter uh, a yeah. lot, and, just stutter, and yeah. <laughs> be yeah. just like, like that. Yep, that's me. <laughs> that's me. In fact, so we are the same person. We, we are the same person. Yes. One yes. just has a ponytail. Mm-hmm. Bum bum bum. <laughs> or does he? Or does he? <laughs> yes. Anyway, glad we went down that weird thing. <laughs> We've been doing this way too yeah, long. We man. have been. <laughs> we need windows in this. We <laughs> need windows <laughs> in here. Someone <laughs> let us out. Let us out. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Comments. <sighs> <Thank you. laughs> I hate him when he does that Stephen Fry thing. I don't you? <laughs> All that knowledge. All that knowledge. Um, <laughs> an answer is what we need. So, are you, go now. Just a minute. Are what? you doing me again? <laughs> yes, I, yeah, that is I'm him. I'm round the edges of you, Terry. <laughs> I'm not careful, I'll set fire to you. Right. Um, Hugh Grant. Gosh, crikey, crikey, gosh. <laughs> I'm just sitting here listening to you. You could be related to Len Goodman from Strictly <laughs> Come Dancing. <laughs> Could you, could, you, could you just say for me, look at that, yeah. Your Paso Doble was lovely, I liked it, it was cool. You be over there, but you're trying hard. I'm going to give you six. I'm doing Len Goodman. In this ten, I have played stolen... You don't mind me doing it with an accent, do you? In this ten, I have played stolen diamonds. Are oh, you going to do it with an accent? <laughs> I would never claim to have your range as an actor, David. <laughs> Shall I do posh and repressed or repressed and posh? <laughs> Families, you know, carrying... I love <laughs> Posh and repressed. Or repressed and posh. Both great punk rock names. Yes, yes. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Gonna, oh my god. I'm laughing so hard, I'm gonna cut this part out. I'm gonna drink this right now so that I, I don't take a sip and then spit it out all of all our, yes. our equipment. Smart, smart, very smart. Very mm. smart. Mm. Ah, let's go. Let's do it. Kids into the sea. You are in Captain Jack Sparrow. Sorry, mind you go there, kitty. Put, put Factor 24 on there. Was, was Cliff in the house going, oh? Oh, oh, oh. What's what I'm doing? I'm doing Cliff Richard. Very important. You never want to say the phrase "I'm doing Cliff Richard." <laughs> never say that. Oh. Especially if you're doing that with your hands. <laughs> I just want to say, Rob, I've got a lot of respect for your commitment to the show. Yeah. I mean, I'm no Bruno or Len. I'm no Bruno or Len. Hasn't she got a I stupid know voice? I'm taking them. <laughs> <laughs> what is? 
Does anyone know how large Fred Astaire's teeth are? Small. Small. Didn't have Small. any, just gums. <laughs> he had little, tiny little... Like that, no. Um, tiny. Just tiny. Working on the top, hat. up a white tie. I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> To be clear, Benji offered you two flakes once because he's yes. a big fan yeah. of, of your estimable body mm. of work. And uh, that sentence wouldn't work without of work at the end, would it? <laughs> And then gave you the name. You didn't say, oh, look at me, I, I'm David Two Flakes. You didn't do that. <laughs> you... Balding, Mac, Hart, Mitchell, Winton, Bacon. Hit it. be a clue will the clue be there <laughs> as we go through the clue is well, I'm <laughs> doing David Frost if Scooby-Doo was a bit heavy and some of the issues were a little bit you know difficult to deal with Scrappy-Doo was a lot, a lot more accessible wasn't it how how did she feel about that is that um, a kind of spin-off is that a kind of spin-off? It's Scrappy-Doo! It's, 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 look what you've done to my voice! It's, it's Scrappy-Doo, it's the little version of... There's no point saying little. She couldn't see it. Well, it was a smaller dog with a... <laughs> it's quite a hard show to follow audibly. <laughs> Can't see it. <laughs> You have to rely on seeing it, don't you? Wait, wait. In the words of Rob Brydon, I'm doing Scooby-Doo. <laughs> I'm doing Scooby-Doo. Oh, my God. I think... <laughs> I think what you were trying to do was... <clears throat> Here we go. Hummy? <laughs> 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 and he can't let me have one moment. <laughs> yeah. Did you have little radios? All units, we're looking for a green Ford Cortina. <laughs> Registration, Alpha Papa Papa Alpha. <laughs> Didn't know Alan Bennett was a policeman. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. He said, um, he said, we're looking for a car, it's just escaped. <laughs> If anybody happens to see it, do take chase, but don't get too close. David, yeah. I'm holding you responsible for that yeah. one. <laughs> I thought he'd already done it. No. Small man in boxes, a silly little thing I do, that nonetheless shows great talent. <laughs> and, and it's this. How are you feeling today? Where are you? I don't know where you are, so I'm going to get me out of here. <laughs> Thank you. No. What? Wow. So what happened then? That's that was, actually quite impressive. That was, yeah. It, it's like some fucking uh, ventriloquism. Uh, ventriloquism, almost. Yeah, yeah. It, he might have another career on his hands. <laughs> That's that wasn't bad. That threw me off. I thought audio levels were wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, wow. Rob does a lot of things. He not, not only this, he does a lot of presenting. Yeah. He's apparently he's a singer. He has his own yep. podcast. So. Uh, he may have another career on his wow. hands if you could fit one more in. Yeah. God. They went off in the. Um, what kitchen. was the sound like? Was it bing? <laughs> <laughs> no, these were only standard. <laughs> yeah. Standard fireworks. So why were you on this boat? We have a mutual friend who owns a boat. What, you and P. Diddy? Yes. <laughs> Derek Evans from Pontypee. <laughs> <laughs> Derek has been very close to Diddy for some years now. <laughs> I've seen yeah. Bananarama videos. I don't think there's an over-reliance on choreography. <laughs> you point at your hand like this. You go like that. You go up in the air. You come down. You go to that side. You say, what the hell? Now, where is the kitchen and my saucepan? <laughs> I'm not quite uh, good-looking enough slash slim enough to be serving at tables. Oh, okay. right. So did they tell you this? Did they, did they say, I'm sorry, love you, I'm sorry. No. I can't have you serving the customers, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'd love to see, is there anybody here, do you think, <laughs> who perhaps doesn't like singing, oh. who, who might be sat in between... <laughs> who might be in between his teammates now thinking, oh, I do hope they don't come to me. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there anyone? 
It's a very instinctive thing, and without a fox, I, uh... I'll be a fox. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> you do fox not reading what? a book? <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 they know, they know, they know, you, you dumb, don't know. <laughs> Ready? Ready? OK. Come on, Mr Lee, come on. Oh. Oh. Stop me, stop me, Mr Lee, stop me. <laughs> but I didn't think they... this would give Rob an impression opportunity. <laughs> come on, Mr yeah, Lee. But you can see him in the producer's room. Could, could we change um, bear to fox? I can, I can do basil brush, I can't do a bear. <laughs> The fox fears very few things. It's true, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but there is one animal. <laughs> That's my bushy tail. <laughs> <laughs> there is one animal. Come on. That if a fox hears, yes. the, the, the tone is so weird to the fox, it will scare the fox. And mm -hmm. that beast, if I may call it a beast, is the dolphin. The fox comes towards you and a simple <laughs> will stop the fox <laughs> in its tracks. He gave me a very low mark because we got marked out of ten at the end of the match. <laughs> oh no, that's awful. <laughs> you, so, if you can't imagine Ray doing that. Boy, come over here. I'm going to have a word with you. <laughs> I'm giving you three out of ten. <laughs> have you school? ever had one of those days? <laughs> See you at the same time next week. I'm Val Dunican. Goodbye. <laughs> How would Adrian Childs know that otherwise? He did like... used to present The One Show. <laughs> Coming up next, we've got a fascinating feature on the candles. <laughs> Again, this isn't The One Show. You're not presenting a feature <laughs> on sun care. OK. Do remember, if you are popping in with your tinkle out, do uh, cover up with a bit of sun cream. <laughs> <laughs> Giles Brandreth has been investigating teddy bears. <laughs> I think Moira's voice would be difficult to impersonate. Don't, but... don't encourage Rob. <laughs> <laughs> no, on this account, have a go. All right, I'll give it a try. But if it doesn't work, you may never do Ronnie Corbett again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So Mark Lawrence suggested it to Alan Hansen to no, because... jump on her back. Who is Mark Lawrence? <laughs> I'll say, oh, hang on a second. Oh. I'll say, him. Please don't start impressions because he was. Please tell me what Is it alright right if I jump on your back, Gabby? Is yeah. that Mark Lawrence and Alan Hansen? And Mark Lawrence went, hey, go on, jump on her back. And then. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, you feel like you were there. If you're going to come on your John Heisen, you've got to be absolutely sure you're John Heisen. If you're going to be in front of your head, or you've got to say what you see, you've got to say what you see, you've got to come from the right and get up front. Two words for you, Duncan Bannantyne. That's it. How about the answer is that is Woeful Defender. What? Woeful Defender. What are you doing now? That's Harry Seacombe. Very confused with all these different impressions, because they're all quite different. I'm about to say I'm just as confused I'm right like, now. What is going on? Yeah, we've we've come a long way with uh, finding out British celebrities, but we've got a long way to go. We definitely do. Yeah. <laughs> Valentine. We're always going like, oh, you know, I do, I do, this one of us doing it anyway. I'm out. Can you just roughly give us a, an impression of how he used to say vegetables? Is it even just he, said, he said it exactly like this. Yeah. Vegetables. <laughs> vegetables. <laughs> Vegetables. <laughs> imagine, imagine I'm the man. Okay, I'm on the coach. I'm, I'm sat. We're, we're driving. Off you go. Um. So I said. So. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're very big, aren't you? <laughs> this isn't like him at all. <laughs> You're very big, aren't you? <laughs> If a dog is ever no. abandoned in Britain, should it happen, they immediately get a slot on national television just to sort it out, just to check that there are no dogs without homes ever. It was a very light day. Was it a, a day with me, Matt Baker, or was it Chris Evans? It was uh, me, Matt Baker. Um, <laughs> and Mary uh, came on. It's me, Matt Baker, from The One Show. <laughs> Gentlemen, is that Rob can't do Chris Evans? <laughs> <laughs> My name.
I was Mary. <laughs> and I do Tommy Cooper impressions. <laughs> I'm doing a dog. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you are genuinely, I'm not just saying, you look at that, you are genuinely to scale as if you were a jockey on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Mary, and I can reveal that I was sick on Alex during the one oh, Thank you, Mary. Oh, oh, oh. 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 My phone. Ah, made the noise ah, ah. while I was in the loop because it was on silent, but it, it vibrated and sort of. Where you know, was it? On the, you left I'd it left the it on the table. Oh, you left the thing. Gone to by the toilet. My laptop. So you come back from the toilet. Could you hear the? It's that <laughs> noise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, that's as yes. I, I was in the toilet. And you heard um, the? No. <laughs> No, I no, I couldn't hear that noise yeah. from. Great, <laughs> <laughs> right, he's now doing impressions of inanimate objects. <laughs> I thought he was doing do me on the toilet. Do Sorry. <laughs> well, that's not you on the toilet. <laughs> well, that's more right. I wonder how long I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, 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 Nick, Nick. let's reenact it. OK. You, I'm going to be your friend... OK. ..in New York. She's yeah. an American. She is. Thank God. I thought you were going to say, it's by coincidence, she sounds like Ronnie Corbett. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> She's a very sassy Jewish lady. All right. Yeah. Now, Nick, <laughs> how are things going? <laughs> Did you say she didn't sound like Ronnie Corbett? No, she did. <laughs> the opposite to Ronnie Corbett. Oh, but she's a kind like of... You... She's like New York Jewish kind of person, like that. Pretty spot on. OMG! <laughs> so listen, you finished your radio show, how did it go? I love your impressions, you know that. But you're texting, we don't need the voice. <laughs> 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 oh, he wants me to call him. Sure I will. Hi, Amy. How's America? Oh, I love it. There's so many Americans here. <laughs> hey, what's that noise? Hey, what is that noise? Oh. I, I heard something. I can, I can hear something downstairs. Oh, have you were having trouble with your stomach again? <laughs> well, like downstairs. It's someone like downstairs in the house downstairs. I pretend to be asleep. You... Call the police. What, the <laughs> NYPD? No. <laughs> My police. All right, I'll call. OK. Love you. So I put the phone down, and then I just go like this. And then fear for my life. Well, hold on, because it's all happening stateside. <laughs> <laughs> God. We, we, we can go on like this all night. Go on. No, I, I will say, that was a pretty good New York yeah. Jewish... Uh, impression. Yeah, that was pretty good. I think so. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, I I said at the top of this that I was hoping there'd be some American impressions. I got my wish. Yep, <laughs> you did. You yeah. did. Yeah, and it, it not bad. Not bad. Not bad at mm -hmm. all. And that is not a representation of when we do call people that we have uh, met through this journey over on the uh, other side of the pond. It does. Yes. <laughs> There's an accent to uh, to overcome at first, but. Yes. I guess this is, you know, after calling a few times, like, get the accent. Yeah, I, I, I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want me to cancel that? <laughs> get on your way, honey. I, I just went direct. Oh, yo, so when you want me, I'm right here waiting. <laughs> but when you don't want me, you just drop me. Well, screw you, Grimshaw. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> Hello, who am I speaking to? You're talking to Tobias Cruelty. <laughs> <laughs> this is some of my best work. <laughs> we're, we're just glad he's someone else other than Ronnie Corbett for a change. <laughs> who is this that is talking to me? This is Nelson Mandela. What? <laughs> Where are you? I'm free. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you're not Morgan Freeman? <laughs> that movie hasn't come out yet. <laughs> well, do you know what? 
I've always been pro-apartheid, but this frank exchange of views with you has really turned me the other way. <laughs> I wish you all the very best. And to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's, oh. it's good to see someone that we recognize yes. on this. Uh, someone commented on a recent video asking us to react to Trevor Noah. I'm like... We know him. Yeah, we do. Like, we I, get I, out of here yeah, with we, that. We're, we're all, yeah. Yeah, we're very familiar with yeah, him. Because remember, before he took over the mantle of The Daily Show, um, he Comedy Central did a very in-depth dive of getting his material out. Yeah, yeah. Constantly. Yeah, so... So that way we knew who he was. Yeah, yeah. So we are very familiar with him, and we're not going to fake a reaction for that. No. Just to fulfill some sort of ocd <laughs> no. of, of what you want to see us <clears throat> do. Sorry, we still love you. Yes, of course we do. Kaji, now, I, I'm the horse, right? <laughs> Here I am, ready? <laughs> <laughs> what? Sing to the horse. Sing to the horse. <laughs> Do tanda, baby, gia wu tanda. I had a lesson with uh, Boris Becker the other day. He heard through the grapevine about Cassius being uh, a One player. day you know you're going to get the call, don't you? Hello, David. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you remember what I did for yourself. <laughs> Now it's payback time. <laughs> I'm stuck in a cupboard. <laughs> was it for yourself? No. Who was it for? It was for my parents. Had they not visited before? <laughs> uh, well, they had visited before, but not... They'd they not... would sleep standing up. <laughs> <laughs> they'd not uh, stayed the night before in that house. We wanted to keep things on a formal standing. <laughs> <laughs> She's my dentist. Oh, yes. Whose earring I accidentally swallowed mid procedure. You that grab at her in terror. Uh, no, 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 I didn't. No, no I, I'm I, scared. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, dude. <laughs> this is a classic <sighs> story. And makes me laugh every time. <laughs> Oh, man, what a good impression. <laughs> Makes... <laughs> God almighty. <laughs> you, you make me seem so sexy. <laughs> Whereas Bono? His, uh, his burns was a little uh, too breathy, I thought. Could you give us an approximation of Bono's Re burns? Release the hounds, release the hounds. <laughs> oh, release the hounds, release the hounds, release, release the hounds. <laughs> Something like that. No, it wasn't like that. No, no. And what about... Uh, Tom Jones? What about... <laughs> huh, release the hounds. <laughs> and what about... Um, Bill Clinton? Bill Clinton. Well, you got to release the hounds now. <laughs> I did not release those hounds. <laughs> <laughs> I could imagine. <laughs> That's right there. How do you you rate you rate the, I, his impression of our forty second president? Yeah. It's good. Yeah. I, sure. It's been a minute since I've heard him. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Yeah. Imagine you renting a sun lounger and opening up uh, a weighty tome. I, I could imagine that. But I can't see you saying, now you relax here, yeah? I'm just going to go <laughs> and bomb around the bay for a while. Ah, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yep. It's as if the grey clouds have parted and a ray of sparkling sunshine glitters down to catch a butterfly's wing as it lands gently on a summer flower. Diawn Jo Croesi Mynd Eich Lagen Audi Fydd Eich Lagen Dyn Eich Lagen Audi Fydd Eich Lagen. No, I see the club behind you get a fringe eye nice here. Sababu boop bop. Sababu boop. Boop boop. Bah. Look for the bare necessities. The simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife.
he's he's singing like you. He's singing with Tom Jones. That's ridiculous. Yeah, he's got a great voice. Hey. Yeah, I mean he's that voice could do a lot. Yeah. Not just talking, but singing too. There you go. I, I knew he sang. I just we never checked anything out mm -mm. of his singing. So. No. If you want us to do that, let us know. That would be interesting. Yeah. That would be something way different. Yeah, yeah. Doing some, you know, uh, Disney songs yeah, here. What? Okay. Yeah. In the comments, uh, please let us know what other movies he's been in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, you know. And, and if you're in our Patreon movie club, uh, maybe put some on the uh, list that we yes, have. It's like yes. 20 long. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is just a montage of him being <laughs> just a weirdo. Yeah, love that. <laughs> That's where we're going to spend the next four minutes looking I at was, I was just trying to see what that means. It's like season four, episode four? Oh, uh, I don't Maybe. know. Maybe. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We see it on the screen here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know we're not like other reaction channels that say, just straight up pause and say, this pause is for copyright. Yes. But this is the one time we're going to do this. Yes. <laughs> because this is a long thing. And it's it's like a, 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 pit, a piece of every single episode. Yes. I know when I go to upload this Ooh. and we dispute the copyrights, it's going to be so <laughs> long. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Oh, my God. <laughs> This almost feels like medieval torture. Yes. Of just what? It's, instead of the death penalty, they make you sit in a room and just watch Rob Brydon make impressions. Like, is this it for the next two minutes? Yeah, that's it for the. And then make you listen to YouTube stock music. <laughs> yeah. It's like <laughs> the horns are getting to me, man. <laughs> All right. Which I heard in the it for like. 
U.S. military prisoners of war, instead of, you know, waterboarding, they'll sit a prisoner of war in a room and make them listen to Enter Sandman on repeat. Yes. Yes. You know about this? Uh, no. Okay. But I do. But you do. Okay. Yes. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> We made it through! Wow! Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> that is about, what is it, five, ten minutes of Jesus. our lives? So we're just never gonna get back? Well, I mean, if anything, you can say that dude's been on a lot of episodes. I mean, he's, oh the, my god. he's the primary host. I yeah. mean, for like, starting with like, I don't know, season two, three, four? Yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, something like that. It took me until five, or four. Four. I was like, this must be seasons and shows. Yeah, and I didn't even see it at first because our microphone is right yeah. in front of it, and I didn't see it. Yeah, you're just like, what the hell? <laughs> yes. How long do we have? Like, yeah. ten years. Blood. Yes, yes, yes. Good and it's, God. it's more than that now. Oh, my, my God, that's God. crazy, dude. My goodness. Well, but yeah. Automatic do thumbs up for that one. Oh, yeah. <sighs> it's dude, nice. The dude knows how to do impressions yep. and yeah. is good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a thespian. Yeah. An all-around that's entertainer. Good, that's a good word. At thespian. Heart. Yes. Yeah. Definitely a thespian. Yes. Thesp thespian -y. Yes, yes. Keep the both the Rob Brydon and the Would I Lie to You coming. Definitely, guys. We are here for it. You know it's one of our favorites. Yep. Whew. Thanks in advance for those comments, liking, yes. subscribing, hitting the bell, and sharing with your friends. Definitely, guys. Wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. Unplug and do something crazy. See you next time. Later. Fellas, we could be that mistake. Let's do this. <laughs>